Hi everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'm going to be showing you what we received in the Sophie and Toffee November Elves box, which was a floating shakers theme, as well as showing you how to make these miniature koi fish bottles. So in the November box, the items we received were a milk bottle silicon mold, two layered shaker oils, UV resin, white UV gel, heart shaped glitter, iridescent hand straps, colourful foam balls, and then the premium items were a bottle silicon mould, a fish bowl silicon mould, a gold fish mould, shaker oil and orange pigment powder. So the bottles that I'm going to be showing you how to make in this video were quite challenging for me to create and I would say that it definitely wasn't a beginner friendly kind of box. It did take me quite a while to finally come out with something that I was happy with, but anyway I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, so let's get started. First off I took the silicone moulds and I'm using the premium ones that came in the box which were the bottle and the fishbowl silicone moulds as well as the UV resin. I placed the moulds together and then also added two rubber bands around the outside of the mould to help hold them together and make sure that the resin wouldn't leak out. So here I'm pouring the UV resin into the bottle silicone mould and I filled it up about halfway and then I just rotated and turned the bottle around so that all the sides were coated with resin. Next up I got a cup to drain the excess and I just tipped out the excess into the cup and then quickly turned on my UV lamp to cure what was left in the mould. I then did another layer of the same just to make sure that there were no holes in the bottle. So again I filled the UV resin into the mould and rotated it around before pouring out the excess and curing what was left in there. Here you can also see that I'm doing the exact same with the fishbowl mould as well. So once my resin was cured, I went ahead and demoulded the piece and this is what it looks like. I am quite happy with how it turned out, except that one side has a few more lumps than the other, but that's okay because I just made that the back of the piece anyway. Here's how the fish bowl turned out. There are a few more bubbles and holes in the top part, but the actual fish bowl section turned out looking okay. If you have any excess resin from the trimmings like I did, you can very carefully trim them off with a blade. Next up, I'm going to be making the fish. So I took the orange pigment powder and the fish molds, and I just dusted some of the powder using a paintbrush. I wanted my fish to look like a koi fish, so I just did some splodges of orange around in the mold. But of course, if you wanted yours to look like a goldfish, you can just cover the whole thing. I then did the exact same thing with some black chalk pastels and just did some little spots around in the mold. Next up, I took the white UV gel and I poured a small amount into the mold. And then I used a toothpick to spread it around so that it covered the whole fish shape. And I cured this under my UV lamp. Then I took the foam balls from inside the box and I'm putting these inside of the fish so that they can float in the shaker oil. So I just added some more of the white UV gel to fill up the molds the rest of the way and then placed in some of the balls into the fish's body as well as its tail. Before curing the resin, you want to then place the two parts together and hold it down as you harden it with your UV light. I took the fish out of the moulds and then I used a little pair of scissors to cut around the outside carefully where some of the extra resin had squeezed out. Here's what my little koi fish ended up looking like. Then I thought I would do a little test to see how they float in some oil. So I just put some in a little plastic cup. Then I dropped my fish in and I realized that the results weren't fantastic. As you can see from the side view, they kind of look like they're just sitting there or floating like they're dead. So they look a little bit lifeless if I'm being honest. And I mean, really, what's this one doing? I then took two different colours of dried moss. One pack is from Kmart and the lighter one came in a previous Sophie and Toffee Elves box. I trimmed off a small section and then I added some UV resin inside my bottle to act like a glue. I then placed in the piece of moss to look like some seaweed or some reeds and then I cured this to hold it in place. I then also added some resin onto one of my koi fish and I attached this onto the moss so that it would look like it was swimming around as clearly it wasn't going to look very pretty just floating in the oil. 
Next, I cut a circle of plastic that would fit in the bottom of my bottle and I took this black deco sand which I added into some resin. I mixed this around using a toothpick so that it looked like the little stones or rocks in the bottom of the pond. I spread the mixture around on my piece of plastic and I also sprinkled a layer over top before hardening it. Next up I took some little white rocks and I used my resin as a glue to attach them on. I also took another one of my koi fish and attached it onto the rock. Then just for some extra decoration I took some smaller pieces of the moss and I added them around the bottom of the pond. Now it's time to add the shaker oil. So to do this, I firstly put some blue tack on the top of my bottle and turned it upside down so that it would stay in place. I poured the shaker oil into the bottle and then added a small layer of resin around the rim before placing the bottom in. I cured this under my UV light and then began quickly adding some more resin around the bottom of the bottle to try and seal in the oil. But as you can see, I had a little bit of a spill and some of the oil had come out onto my work surface. So I had to try and fix that later on. Anyway, I kept adding more and more resin and kept curing it to make sure there were no holes where any of the oil could seep out. So this is what it currently looks like and as you can see it doesn't have much oil in it anymore. So I then took this little hand drill that I also got from Sophie and Toffee one other time and I made a hole in the top of the bottle. Using this thing, I don't know what it's called, sorry, that came in the box, I filled it up with shaker oil and then I pushed it into the little hole I made with the drill, which I was then able to carefully fill up the bottle back up to the top with the oil. I sealed the hole in the top with resin and I also added a layer to dome it as well. Once the bottle was done, I then pretty much did the same thing with the fish bowl, except instead of the black deco sand, I used this sand that I bought from Kmart and I decided also not to add any oil into the bottom and just leave it as it was. So here are what my finished pieces look like once they're completely done. I'm pretty happy with how they turned out considering the little mistakes I had along the way. As I said at the start of the video, it definitely wasn't a beginner friendly craft and I found it quite challenging. Even though I'm not experienced with resin, um, it was quite hard to do. But I'm happy with how it turned out. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos. And I will see you next time. Bye guys!